kids. This is, this is Rizzo. I'm coming at you to you live and direct from the old ranch at Magnes. Um, what I want to talk to you about is the idolatry of the white collar red state good job socioeconomic middle to upper middle class family oriented squeaky clean GOP conservative family people <clears throat> I want to talk to you about their idolatry and why they're going to bust hell wide open and they'll be sharing They'll be sharing hell with the irresponsible people like the drug addicts and the winos and the drug dealers and the people who gamble and the criminals, you know, that fill the prisons up. <clears throat> the low class people. Why? And the prostitutes and the whoremongers. Everybody who's irresponsible and undisciplined and doesn't pursue a lawful, responsible existence like they do, they're going to bust hell wide open just like them. <clears throat> and this is why. It's after they... Um, graduate high school they go to college and they work real hard to be real responsible and um, don't party too hard you know they study that's the most important thing to them is to study and uh, after they work their way through college and study and do real good and get their um, degree, they get a job. Okay, they're a professional. And they're making a middle to upper middle income class, income salary. And they get married. And then they, they have money to buy the home they want. Or not really the home they want, but you know, kind of, because they're never really satisfied, but a starter home, <clears throat> you know, and a starter vehicles, and, a, and they, and they have their first kid, you know, and they go through their whole life, it's like, none of that crap really is fulfilling, you know, they worked all that time to get that crap and once they achieved that goal and that vision of the American dream was fulfilled then they don't have anything else to really live for they're there they reached the promised land of the American dream <coughs> And now they're like unfulfilled. So what they do is they reason within themselves. The only thing that they have to live for is their children. They're gonna focus all their love, all their attention, all of their efforts, all their energies into their kids. So their whole purpose for living at that point is to make sure their kids grow up, get a good education, get a good job, and start the cycle all over again. That's their whole purpose. That's the whole purpose of living and enjoying family time, okay, and being, you know, in the community and stuff like that. 
Nah, I grew up in Moss Bluff. And it's changed. It's a little gated community now. The entire community of Moss Bluff is gated. And all the professional people move out there. It's like a turned into a little yuppie suburb. Okay? And that's all they do is pour all of their energy into their kids. Their kids become their idol. And they have to protect their kids. They have to support their kids. They have to... Everything is to keep them in a... The most extreme, stable, protective bubble as possible. And the reason that's an idol is because it turns the rest of everybody outside of their little gated, fenced bubble. It turns everybody else into threats to their children and threats to that little world. Everything outside of that is evil and a threat and criminal. So it becomes like a a red state, white collar, citadel, gated community citadel that